Hey guys, today I have a new exciting video for you, but before we're going to watch it together, I would like to make a couple comments. This video actually video number one of a new water cooling build series. I am very close to finish this one, so I will update you soon, but this new series is a collaboration between three parties. We have a case labs sponsoring us with the latest S3 Mercury case. And uh, this is the latest addition to the lineup Micro ATX build, but it's very spacious, so it will be really interesting to make a build out of it. We have a case mod contest.com Hanover, who will be do professional painting of that case in a really unique, uh, expensive uh, type of paint. It will be really cool. And at the end, myself, I will perform water cooling build for you. So. First video is about how to get case lab case in pre prime condition. As you know, you can only get them white or black and recent addition with blue. But really, if you want something unique, there's no other choice other than purchase it in pre prime condition and do your paint yourself. So the purpose of the beginning uh, series is to teach you how to get the best possible result out of pre uh, case lab case. So you can do it yourself and uh, create really unique type of um, build for yourself. So that's enough talking for now. I would like to um, let uh, Hanover speak and teach you how to do painting correctly. Case modders, paint enthusiasts, welcome back. This is Hanover Fist with uh, CaseModContest.com, and I've got uh, a two-part series starting. This is going to be part one uh, with the uh, Case Labs newest addition to their line, the Mercury S3 uh, Mini ITX case. Um, first of all, let's let's uh, I'd like to give a big thanks to Case Labs, Jim at Case Labs, for sending this out. And making this video possible, and also to uh, Dasmoon for setting the whole thing up. So here it arrived: the new Case Labs Mercury S3 in uh, light primer gray. So uh, my plan, first of all, after seeing the case and thinking a little bit, um, I've come up with a color that's going to be really exciting, and the. Really, the, the purpose of the, this video is going to be to show what you can do with uh, a Case Labs case when it does show up in primer. Um, they do have a few colors that they offer, black, white, and I believe uh, green and blue um, are also available. And then also some primer colors. I think they do a dark gray primer and then a light gray primer. They also might have some other... Um, colors offered in that, but uh, what we have right here is the light gray um, primer, S3. And uh, part one, we're, we are going to do a, uh, a surface prep. That's always the most important part of uh, painting. So we're going to prep this surface, and I uh, kind of went over this surface already with a fine tooth comb, and there's a couple spots. Um, out of the factory that had a little bit of dust. I mean, not much. 99.9% .9 of this case is absolutely perfect. The build quality, uh, the gauge of aluminum they use is really thick, makes for an awesome little case. Um, a couple of spots I want to touch on with some 800 grit sandpaper. I'm actually going to wet sand it just to take, I mean it's on the surface but it looks like they, they uh, it looks like it was there when they shot over it because it's got it's raised up um, but no big deal I mean I, I mean that's what I do I fix, uh, <laughs> fix problems with paint and I paint computer cases so in my first two videos I uh, did a tutorial on painting a panel, which is, you know, in the garage with uh, cans. You know, everyone has access to a, you know, a spray can. You go down to your local hardware store, you pick up a can of paint. 
and a lot of people you can either paint outside or you can paint in your garage but uh, in the second video I did were some uh, heat killer back plates uh, stainless steel which I kinda showcased my paint booth a little bit and show a more high-end way of painting with a uh, compressor and HPLP gun so this time around we're going to do this video in two parts part one um, surface prep and a uh, surface primer or a primer sealer excuse me and part two where you are, I'm going to show for the most part just painting and um, like I said again the color that I'm going to paint this is pretty uh, pretty exciting and I thought it was pretty unique and Dasmode also agreed this build's actually going to be shipped out to him when I'm done painting so he can start uh, you know doing his regular thing on his YouTube channel with the building and you know just putting the parts parts in it but uh, my my sole uh, job here is to make the paint on this thing absolutely flawless and kind of talk my way through how we're going to do it and like I said again thanks to Case Labs and thanks for Dasmo to setting this up it's just uh, incredible of uh, both these guys to to help me out in this way and uh, pr provide the case for the video and I'm really excited about this is just an awesome little case I'd, I'd love to see uh, some more case labs offering in, in some bigger sizes not much of a big fan of uh, smaller cases but I do love the way they they put things together um, actually going to completely disassemble this and and start on it um, we'll, we'll use a surface cleaner and like I said I have a couple of lint spots in the primer I mean they are tiny but they're enough for me to they're enough to bother me let's say um, they're they're noticeable if you got down and looked at it in the light I mean from a distance you can't see them but um, one thing I do is uh, kind of get a little obsessive compulsive over uh, um, paint surface you know so without further ado I think we're going to kick this thing off and absolutely start uh, tearing down everything and getting this thing ready for paint okay so for the next part here the the top panel the very top panel um, has the two small imperfections one um, right here I mean the size of a, of a uh, pinhead <laughs> like I said I can really get some uh, obsessive behavior with uh, with paint surface so we're gonna use some just some uh, 800 grit 3m wet or dry and we're gonna take uh, we're gonna take that down flat and there's one more spot right here which is actually rough to the touch and it um, like I said earlier in the introduction was either there on the panel when they shot obviously was then I have a couple small small little scratches that we're gonna go over and basically I think we're just gonna lightly cover this entire top panel because there's a couple of you know real real small um, imperfections up at the top there too so um, for the most part the rest of the case the side panels um, the back panel and the front panel they're pristine so all we'll have to do with those is um, use some surface cleaner and go over that so let's get started uh, using just a little bit again um, 800 grit um, 3m wet or dry and I just wrap a, a block because I'm too lazy to use my other block it requires cutting and all that fun stuff so we'll just uh, wet the panel a little bit 
get our paper wet. What I really need is a spray bottle, but uh, seem to really be lacking one right now. So we'll just get our paper wet. And our trouble area is right in here. Just make sure your, your surface stays pretty hydrated so you don't uh, burn through the primer they uh, put on at the factory. Make sure you use a nice flat surface so you don't uh, get uneven sanding. Don't use your don't use your hand or your fingertips. Use some kind of a flat surface. And it's not going to take much because it's um, pretty pretty small bit of debris. And it's right there. I can see. Um, my camera won't pick that up. I'm sure it won't. It's not that good. So I just lightly, lightly, lightly take a, take a little off the top. And once you, if you, you know, it's inevitable that you're going to have a little bit of uh, something or other. Unless you're really, really lucky. It's inevitable you're going to have a little piece of uh, something somewhere that might bother you. Might not. It tends to really bug me. Because the paint that I'm going to put on this thing is uh, a pearl. And I want this surface to be absolutely beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to lightly take the top off this entire panel and try and stay out of the uh, the vented area. And sometimes when you sand that stuff it uh, tends to come off rather quickly. Just keep your surface wet. You know, light, light pressure. Like I said, I only had a couple spots, but I want this thing to be pretty even when I'm done. Try and stay away from your edges. Your edges are going to be more susceptible to cutting through, cutting the primer off of it. Okay. So I'm pretty much finished here. Um, the one spot I had here is um, completely flat. And my little collection of dust I had here, that rough spot is um, completely smooth again. So we have fixed our little problem with just a little bit of 800 um, wet sand and I had I did notice one other spot right up in here which I took out so um, the panel is actually good to go like I said they were very small to start with so very easy fix no problem One thing to uh, to be careful of when you're painting, or uh, pay I should say rather, pay attention to your color um, from your man manufacturer of the paints website. You can usually find a data sheet that's going to tell you what color to have for primer sealer for the color that you're actually using. So I'm using a Mocha Pearl from uh, Planet Color. It's a real awesome paint here. Uh, Barrett Jackson line, Collector Color Series. And there's a model number here, the PCF P12. That uh, if you go on to Planet Color's site and get some uh, a data sheet, it'll actually list for all their colors, model numbers, and tell you exactly 
what color that needs to be on the surface here before you start shooting the actual color. So, um, I finish one um, black is uh, what I need to use here. Because of the dark nature of uh, Mocha Pearl, you don't want, a, let's say, a white or a gray. You don't want that because it's going to bleed through this brown. So what you want is a really, really, uh, you know, a very dark surface. And, and black is what it calls out for, the FS510. So that's what uh, we're going to spray the surfacer on absolutely this entire case. Um, so just a just a note of caution there before you uh, if you order a primer if you have it in mind that you're going to paint the case labs case and you're going to order it primered um, keep in mind uh, the color you're going to choose um, it's going to dictate what color you're going to need that uh, that surface to be, to start out its life as now they. I believe they only offer for a primered case the dark gray and the and the light gray. I could be wrong, but um, this is where you're going to need to either um, go to your uh, local auto parts store. And they usually have a pretty good collection of uh, of uh, primer sealers, um, black, white, gray, or they can order it for you. So. Um, just make sure you uh, have the right or the proper color before you start shooting. Okay, the next step we're going to do is take the entire case apart, um, which is actually relatively easy because Case Labs is brilliant about the way they um, put their cases together. No rivets to drill out, which is right there. I mean, commendable. <laughs> uh, five sixteenths nuts hold the uh, the windows in. If you've ordered this uh, with that option, um, five sixteenths nuts here. Uh, Phillips, for the most part, all the way around the case. The case comes apart quite easily. Uh, they have these snap snap together, it looks like ball headed uh, risers off the panel, this panel, and then these clips here hold them in. Um, this case came with the option of, uh, just looks like the regular window, not the extra large, so I think the extra large comes all the way down here, uh, the XL window. So, um, you know, once again, Case Labs is awesome for the way they put their cases together. It's just, and, and this thing feels, once you, once you grab onto a, to an S3, you can just tell that it's uh, uh, really, really high quality. Um, real high quality build. Um, nothing cheap about it at all. There's no flex. I mean, they use a high, a rather thick gauge uh, aluminum. And if you've been around and had some cheap cases in your lifetime, you know that uh, other manufacturers kind of keep their costs down by using uh, either a lot of plastic or a lot of thin gauge uh, metal that has a tendency to warp. Um, this stuff, you're not going to see that. Uh, there is quite a bit to, uh, to take apart here. And one thing I usually do is keep keep on hand quite quite a variety and different sizes of uh, Ziploc bags, so um, I can store all my screws, different screws, uh, pan head, you know, whatever you have, the five sixteenths nuts, just so you don't get them mixed up. And it's just a, it's something I do to keep myself kind of. Um, from getting confused about what what case because I have several different uh, projects going on down here right now so I have a couple hundred bags of different screws um, from various uh, manufacturers various types of screws um, 
so the next thing I'm going to do here is just completely take this thing apart, which I'm probably not going to film. You know, that's if you know anything about computer cases, you're probably uh, pretty capable of taking the case apart. But uh, just my ball in this thing, you know, a Phillips, a Phillips will get you going easy. These things should come apart in maybe you know, 25 minutes, half hour, somewhere in that neighborhood. And then we'll uh, wipe down every surface with the surface cleaner. Alright guys, we've entered the final stage of preparation, which is uh, cleaning the surface of each and every uh, component here of this case. Um, I use Finish One FT200 surface cleaner. And actually this will be the, uh, the final part of uh, part one. Um, part two is going to cover uh, spraying the uh, actual primer surfacer uh, and the uh, and the mocha pearl. Um, most of that video is going to be in the in the paint booth and uh, covering uh, the paint equipment I use, uh, the HVLP and the compressor, and uh, a little bit of the mixology of the paint. And the, and the primer uh, sealer. So, what you want to do, and I've covered this before in, in other videos, is I, I just use a paper towel and just real lightly put a little uh, cleaner on it. Doesn't take too much. And of course, you want to have gloves on for this because what purpose of uh, cleaning this surface is get rid of any kind of hand oil finger oil that's been on here, um, any kind of contaminant that that you don't really want on the surface when you're going to start spraying it. Um, surface cleaner works uh, really well for taking that kind of stuff off. So what we're going to do is just start cleaning every piece. It doesn't take much. Just a real quick rub down. And uh, you'll be done. Just make sure you wear gloves, though. Um, last time I was uh, involved with uh, cleaning some panels, I actually had some of that stuff splash up into my eye. You know, little accidents happen. So if you don't wear glasses like I do, maybe put some safety glasses on or something, because uh, it'll burn the heck out of your eyeball. So if you start playing around with chemicals or stuff like that, just be safe. And then of course, right before you're ready to paint, I always use a, a tack rag, which uh, collects dust and, and dirt. and um, It's got kind of a, a tacky feel to the rag, but uh, Real low residue, won't leave a lot of uh, residue on the actual surface. But it's great for picking up dust. Um, any kind of, uh, you know, if you have a little bit of time between when you clean the surface and then you're ready to, to go ahead and, and start spraying. Um, dust has a way of finding itself uh, onto just about everything. So. Lightly, just uh, wipe off your um, surfaces with the tack rag, and you'll uh, save yourself a lot of heartache in the end if you missed a couple of dust particles or something, and have to uh, wet sand some base coat, which really isn't very fun. So just take all the necessary uh, steps to make sure you're completely dust free or as close to it as possible. And if you are uh, shooting outside or, or in the garage, there's some other steps you can take um, to cut your dust down, like uh, wetting wetting the floor somehow. If you're in a cement floor in your garage, well, wet towels. You can also cover your walls with uh, some plastic material. You know, easily found at Lowe's or Home Depot. That'll cut the dust down too. Uh, make sure you're well ventilated. A lot of guys like to paint outside because they don't have to worry about 
you know, fresh air, but then you run the risk of bugs and leaves and uh, all sorts of stuff landing in your paint, which you might not think about, but it happens. So painting can be tricky, especially if you're going after a really, a really uh, incredible surface, uh, like I am here with this one. And, and I've said it before, the reason I did build an indoor paint booth is to cut down on the uh, as much dust as I can, even though I will get the occasional uh, little fiber land. It's not like before where I was spending a lot of time fixing uh, uh, dust that had landed on panels, which is, you know, time consuming process. So uh, my indoor paint booth is also, you know, I'm temperature controlled in here 70 year round. So. I don't really have a lot of fluctuation and have to worry about uh, paint drying temperatures or minimum spraying temperatures and stuff like that. So the paint booth is a, is a great way to alleviate um, dust. Um, for me, it's been working out really great. I've got uh, some projects that have taken um, that have just turned out absolutely beautiful. So um, I don't expect any less out of uh, the Mercury S3 here and um, part two um, of this video you guys are really going to enjoy it it's going to be the uh, the painting process actually but uh, decided to break this video into two parts so it wasn't some hour long um, video that you had to kind of suffer through and you know, a lot of guys don't really have a lot of attention span for that so 20-25 minutes maybe a half hour is about max for a video anymore, so um, it's the Case Labs S3 Mini ITX, completely torn down, and um, I'll finish uh, wiping each and every part that I'm gonna paint um, with the surface cleaner. But uh, so far, we're up to the point now where we are ready. To, uh, get into the booth and uh, hope you guys will come back and watch part two.